So the news is good. It is extraordinarily good. The gospel means good news. And if you're not hearing good news, you're not hearing the gospel. It is good news. I just want to point out a few things quickly. Uh, Stephen, Stephen was uh, a young deacon, and he was the first to be martyred for faith in Christ. The first Christian martyr. And notice that we become like the God who loves us. We become like the God we worship. Notice that uh, Stephen looks up and he sees the risen Christ at the right hand of the Father and then he says, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Isn't that just like Jesus on Good Friday? Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And then, looking at those who were stoning him to death, he says, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. See, so Stephen became like the God who loved him. He became like Christ. Stephen became like the God he worshipped. Same is true for us. We become like the God we worship. We become like the God who loves us. And then this young man, Saul, this guy Saul, he's holding the cloak so that they can throw stones at Stephen. Now, a good attorney like Bill Gian would say he's an accomplice. He's an accomplice to this crime. Does anybody know who this Saul is? Paul. He wasn't thrown away by God. God didn't reject him. He may, amazingly, miraculously, God will take Saul, this brilliant Pharisee, who hated the way the, the Jewish Christians, uh, believing in Christ as the Messiah, he persecuted them. He wanted to stop the way. And, and God chooses Saul to become the great apostle Paul, the first Christian theologian, a great missionary. And the message there is, don't give up on yourself. Don't give up. Because God doesn't give up on you. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely extraordinary. And then in the gospel, it just gets better where it's all about being one with God. Christ saying, I living in you, you living in me. The Father and I want to share our glory with you. See, Christianity is about sharing in the very life of God. It's in the preface. It says it clearly. We share in the divinity of Christ. It's right in there. Especially if we're baptized. We're baptized into the risen Christ. Have you ever had a bad day? Anybody else has ever had a bad day? Uh, and if you had a bad day, you kind of have tapes in your head that I'm no good. You ever, it's just you hear these messages. All the negative messages. That, uh, and... and when you have a bad day, I want you to take the Gospel of John, chapter 17, that we just heard this morning, where Jesus Christ, speaking about you and about me, about us, says that they are your gift to me. I'm not making this up. You are God the Father's gift to Jesus Christ. That's who you are. Play that tape. Believe that, that you are God the Father's gift to Jesus Christ, because that's who we really are. Well, this is a great day for our parish of St. Catherine Drexel, and this is a great day for the La Rochelle family. Uh, we've been praying for little Olivia Ann La Rochelle. Isn't that a beautiful name? 
We have been praying for her since October. Uh, she was born October the 8th, 16th, and uh, she, she weighed one pound, one ounce. One pound, one ounce. And we have been praying, and uh, they were married right here. Right in the spot. And I'm going to have you come up here in just a minute. But, but uh, you were married here on June the 8th, June the 7th, 2008. All right? Right in this spot where Eric and Ashley uh, gave each other the sacrament of matrimony. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, now, uh, little Olivia, this is the first time that she's been able to be brought into church because uh, she was in the hospital for months and months and they wanted her to be strong enough before she came out in public. And uh, you never ask a woman her weight. But she's now 12 pounds. Isn't that great? 12 pounds. Okay. And, uh, right. 12 pounds. And what we want to do on Mother's Day, she's already baptized. She was baptized by the chaplain at Maine Medical uh, in the incubator. We want to finish the ceremony. And so, uh, Ashley and Eric, can you come and stand exactly where you stood on 2008, June the 7th, 2008. And then uh, your maid of honor and uh, your, your godmother, Kayla, Kayla, you, you want to come and stand next to Ashley? Her husband, John, is the godfather, but he's not able to be with us, but he's with us in spirit. Okay? You can stand right, right there next. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, as we do at every baptism, I'm going to uh, go through the creed, and the congregation, you can, you can join us uh, as we go through the creed, and all you have to do is answer, I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. You believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. You believe that He is now risen from the dead and seated at the right hand of the Father, and that He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith, the faith of the Church. We're proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now, Eric and Ashley, you understand your responsibility as parents? to share your faith with Olivia, to learn, as Christ taught us, to love God and to love our neighbor. So do you understand your responsibility as parents? And Kayla and your husband John, do you understand your responsibility as, as God's parents? I'm going to ask you to cross, put a little cross right on Olivia's forehead. Olivia Ann, the Christian community, welcomes you with great joy. In its name, I claim you for Christ the Savior by the sign of the cross. I now invite your parents and godparents to sign you as well. Now, Kayla, can you put on this little baptismal robe? Olivia, you've become a new creation. You've clothed yourself in Christ. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help them by word and example bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Now, if she were an adult, we would give her immediately the sacrament of confirmation, but I'm going to bless her now with the confirmation prison. Be sealed with the Holy Spirit. 
Holy Spirit, the gift of the Father. And Eric, can you light uh, your daughter's baptismal candle from the Easter candle? There's no way I can do that. <laughs> All right. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly for Olivia. She is a child of the light. May she keep the flame of faith alive in her heart when our Lord comes again in glory. May Olivia go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. So please keep this candle and light it again when she makes her first Holy Communion, her first confession, her first uh, confirmation. And then when she gets married, she can light her wedding candle from that baptismal candle. Now... I want to give you the blessing of the, the mother. God the Father, through his Son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine upon their children. May God bless you, Ashley. You now thank God for the gift of your daughter, Olivia Ann. May you be one with her forever in thanking God in heaven. And Eric, the blessing of the Father. God is the giver of all life, both human and divine. May God bless you, Eric. You and your wife will be the first teachers of your daughter in the ways of faith. May you be the best teachers bearing witness by what you say and do in Christ Jesus our Lord. And for our godparents, Kayla and John, by God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may God continue to pour out his blessings upon you, Kayla, and upon John, may he make you always, wherever you are, faithful members of his holy people. And may God send his peace and joy and love upon all of you who have come here in the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord. Everything's going to be recorded in the parish box, okay? And uh, she was baptized in October, and we completed the ceremony here on May the 12th. So congratulations. I'm so happy for you. And happy for you. Isn't that quite a Mother's Day? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So we've already prayed the, the creed uh, during the baptismal ceremony. So I'm going to ask you now to please stand. And we'll continue with the prayer of the faithful. 